Captain's log, star date. I don't know how star dates work, but it is it's about one in the morning on January 1st, 2016. Happy New Year! I just got home from a little party at a hacker space. Very fitting because I definitely, final answer, I think I've decided my theme for the year will be learning about math and computer science. So what better way than to ring in the new year with a bunch of geeks and nerds and awesome people? This was weird. So first person I interviewed other than my family members, that guy Alex, who I met at this hackerspace, Null Space, Null Space Labs, he was there and he watched the interview video and told a couple of his friends about it. And then when I went up to a couple people to introduce myself, they said, hey, aren't you that math girl? And I'm thinking, uh, sure, I can. I guess I can be that. That was weird. <laughs> there were a couple of people there who saw, uh, I guess apparently several of my videos and talked to me like, like they knew me pretty well and had gave me personal advice. And sure, I'll take it. I mean, anything to avoid small talk, I guess I'm fine with that. It was fun, actually. I had a couple of very honest conversations with people tonight. It's a bit sad, though, that I didn't get to see any of my friends. A couple friends thought they might get to stop by tonight, but they didn't get to, and that's okay, though. I talked with a bunch of new people, people that I... acquaintances, I guess. Acquaintances and new friends. I had, I had a drink at the party, and I think it had caffeine in it, because I'm wide awake. I think I'm not going to get any sleep tonight, uh, but that's okay, I guess, because, oof, because my neighbors have a penchant for illegal fireworks, and I, you know, I probably wasn't going to get any sleep tonight anyway, so that's okay. Two topics, first, math month, and then second, the year of 2015. Uh, so, math. Well, didn't go according to plan. It was still probably the most productive December I've ever had. I relearned elementary school arithmetic all the way up through sixth grade. I did 33 hours of practice problems, plus quite a few more hours watching Khan Academy videos, but not really paying attention. So I didn't time, I didn't count that. I didn't time it, but 33 solid hours of practice. I read uh, chapters from several popular math books. The biggest highlight for me, because I've never done this before, I interviewed four mathematicians Plus, that guy Alex. Interviewing people is something I never thought I would ever do, and I really like it. I generated a lot of questions this month. I found a lot of starting points, but I didn't finish anything. But that's what I always do, I guess. Well, once in a while I finish things. I'm not over the math anxiety, but I've made a lot of progress. This is something I didn't get to do today, but I would like to within the next few days do a post-test. I did a pre-test, test my just basic arithmetic skills. What I'm more interested in is not so much whether I am better at it or faster at it, but more that I feel more comfortable and more confident. I've made a bit of progress on understanding math, real math, not arithmetic, like interesting math. Just bits and pieces. It's more that I, I learned that these cool things exist that I didn't know existed, it's more on that level. It's not any kind of deep understanding really of anything, but like my friend who studies homotopy groups of spheres, I can pronounce that now. <laughs> so that's a good start. Oh yeah, I said I did four interviews. So one, I didn't get to publish. Hopefully I will get to publish it. Mm, I need to catch up with my friend again about that one. You know, I wrote a lot of scripts for other math video ideas and I, uh, I, I didn't get to do any of them. You can't learn that much in a month, but you can definitely make a good chunk of progress and it can serve as a wonderful jumping off point for something more. So part two, this has been possibly the most eventful year of my life. I tend to have a really good year anytime it follows a really bad year and 2014 was the most difficult year of my life, mostly because of my mom's illness and, and death. So 2015 was still kind of the year of recovering from losing my mom. And that's probably going to be a theme in my life for quite a while. Lots of ups and downs. Um, I made a lot of friends. I lost some friends. That's new to me. I made a couple of really colossal mistakes. The kind of mistakes that, you know, that, 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 I'll, that I'll remember and regret for probably the rest of my life. On the other hand, 2015 was also the year I took a lot of risks, tried a lot of new things. And I guess when you do that, 
you're likely to make some mistakes too. But I don't think I want to talk about those right now. I, I don't know. And that's probably too personal. Maybe another day. 2015 was the year that I started dating people, like going on first dates with multiple people. I've never done that before. Not to launch into my whole life, life story and relationship history, but I was in a long-term relationship. Long story short, took me quite a while to finally do that whole dating thing that most people experience in, I don't know, what, college, high school? Yeah, I skipped that whole thing. So now I'm experiencing it. It's been interesting. I made a project out of it. I think that was in June. Went on a ton of dates with a ton of people. There's lots of people that I'll never see again. But they were interesting, and I really enjoyed it. Everybody has a good story to tell. I'm glad I did it, and I think I'm even gonna stay friends with one or two of those people. Relationships are another story, and I don't know if I see that working out for me anytime soon, but I'm not in a rush. Anyway, what else? Uh, oh, it was also the year that I started living alone again. I moved out from a really stressful, bad roommate situation. 2015 was also the year that I quit my job. I've never quit a job before. But then it was also my first real, real world full-time job. There were some highlights at work, definitely. I mean, the main one was finishing this big research project. I designed a report for the first time. We did this report on open government data in Los Angeles County, sort of like a public policy kind of report. It was fun to take on responsibilities beyond my job description. I enjoyed making the website too, that was kind of fun. I mean, it was a really small one, it was kind of thrown together, but both the mayors of Los Angeles and Long Beach liked it. So that was kind of cool, that's a good endorsement. I also participated in my first hackathon and our team won and got a little extra pocket change, it's always nice, and got to meet the mayor because of that. That was, that was a highlight. I started a thing, I started an organization a meetup group uh, called Learn to Code LA. This was a big one for me. This, I think more than anything, uh, changed my life. It's my first experience in any kind of leadership position. It's my first time teaching a class and I've taught a bunch of workshops since I started the thing and I made a bunch of new friends and met, because of the meetup group, I think I've met more new people this year then in the, in, in the last five years combined. Also my first time organizing an event. I organized a really big event too in September. It was hosted at KPCC, our local NPR station, and in this like big auditorium, and I, and I got five or six speakers and got them to agree to it and did all the planning and organizing and stuff to make it happen. Got the venue, that whole thing. We had about I don't know, 80 people or so showed up, full house. They said it was record attendance for a meetup group related thing there. And and I, it was also my first time being an MC. So I was like the, the person introducing the speakers and standing on a stage in front of all those people. Terrifying, terrifying, but really fun. When a bunch of people walked up to me afterwards to thank me, for putting it together. That made it feel worthwhile, all the stress and uh, almost throwing up about three times before that event that night. <laughs> made it all worthwhile. It feels good to just take a moment to... Yeah, I did a lot. Wow. I hadn't really stopped to think about it. Yeah, wow. Overall though, good year. And I am excited. I am excited for 2016, scared and excited, as usual. I hope you all have a very healthy and happy 2016. I've had some really good conversations with online friends in the last three months, and it's meant so much more to me than I ever thought, because it sparked some really good conversations and some really smart people have given me some really good advice. Some people even sent me some job openings that they thought I would be good for. It's really crazy to have a, a bunch of people I've never met looking out for me like that. I'm honored. I hope I can return the favor. How do I end this? I don't know. Only the way I usually do. I'll see you tomorrow, or I'll see you later today. Happy New Year. Yeah.